I hope to instill an appreciation for how these systems work uh, and when we need to be skeptical of their uses and claims. They are a very useful technology, but they are by no means oracles. They're not magic, they're not gods, and we, need to, we do need to be aware of uh, how they're created and also their limitations. Uh, I believe that in a modern society, a uh, general technical understanding of the systems and tools we interact with is really an essential life skill. Uh, for example, let me give you a structural engineering example. I don't expect most people to have the skills to work through the calculations uh, in designing something even as relatively simple as, say, a single family home. But I do think every homeowner should have, you know, some understanding that homes, like any structure, are designed with certain uses and limits in mind. Uh, if you decide, for example, um, if you decide to use your home as a lead warehouse and stack every room in your home, you know, floor to ceiling with lead bricks, in all likelihood, it's going to collapse. You know, you do not have to be an expert in structural engineering or analysis to know that it's really an incredibly bad idea uh, to load your house as a lead warehouse. If you assume your home just has infinite capacity and can carry a limitless amount of load, uh, you may very well find yourself without a roof over your head. <laughs> now, structures uh, do tend to be designed uh, fairly conservatively. So even if you fill your living space, you know, with a bunch of very heavy solid wooden furniture, you're unlikely to have a problem. Um, structural engineers design structures to envelope uh, many possible use cases, but there are limits. And really, no sane structural engineer is designing a single-family home with enough, with enough just incredibly excess capacity that it could safely be, you know, stacked floor to ceiling with lead bricks. Again, I do not expect everyone to be able to use, you know, to be able to perform structural analysis and do structural design calculations. However, it is reasonable to expect that every homeowner, that every uh, homeowner should have enough common sense to realize that structures have finite capacities and doing really weird things with them. Uh, can cause problems, in some cases quite serious problems. The same applies to many topics and issues in the modern world. People do not need to be nuclear physicists to appreciate the capability of nuclear weapons and what effect they have had on how nations interact. You don't need to be a climate scientist to understand the basic mechanisms of the greenhouse gas effect, greenhouse gas emissions, climate change, uh, and issues like wet bulb temperatures and, reason and regional resilience. Uh, economic issues such as the meaning and, Im and implications of interest rates, inflation, and intergenerational demographics have a powerful effect on our individual lives. There are scientific and technical subjects that are simply foundational knowledge to 21st century life, and machine learning is becoming one of those. We've seen remarkable progress in this field in just the last few years, and progress really continues at a frenetic pace. Uh, we've seen some very interesting things, some very cool technologies, and it's going to have a lot of very uh, good and uh, great applications. But like anything, it does have its limits. So. Like any new technology, there is a great deal of hype around it, and grifts do abound. Uh, there's a lot of people running around promising miracles and sort of relying on, uh, maybe you could say, common ignorance. There's a lot of uh, people running around saying, uh, trying to convince you of the impossible, or trying to convince you that uh, certain algorithms are more oracles than they are the actual computer programs built by human beings that they are. And even when a grift isn't in play, uh, machine learning can often be used in ways that are inappropriate and irresponsible.